Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I do beauty, fashion and lifestyle videos. So today what I wanted to do a quick video about was um, the bay window that I put up. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because this bay window caused me so much stress. If you are someone that's not really DIY kind of person, I'm hoping that this will just really help you in picking what you need. It, I can't tell you how stressful it was. When I first bought them, they um, I bought the wrong set, thinking that um, I needed um, a certain section, which I'll tell you which, which one it was. Then I returned all of them, then I came back with another set. Anyway, so basically what you need to first look at, um, they do them in 16 mil, 19 mil, and a, these are 28 mil, I think. I will, um, let you know in the comment in the description box below um so basically if you've got lightweight curtains then you just need like 16 or 19 mil which is just the the width the, like the width of it and obviously if they're heavier you need the 28 now oh my god i did so much research on this and looking at pictures and everything even the people, when I um, no fault of theirs, you know, when I went to B and Q, I think I know everybody in B and Q now. I've gone in that many times, and they've been so helpful. But when I tried to describe one of the sections that didn't fit, I don't even think one of the ladies there knew what I was talking about. And then when I spoke to somebody actually on the section, he knew what I was trying to get at. So what you can do, and I'm going to set, put the pictures in after, only because I'm not that techy and I don't know how to put them in now. I'll try. So what you can get, my first plan was to get what um, is called a bay bend and then it's like a little strip about that big and it, and it bends in the middle and, and the, I suppose what you meant to do, it's meant to fit inside the pole um, and this is what I actually originally thought but when I got it, it was the same, like 28 mil, 28 mil so I kept thinking how are they? going to connect together. So then I was told that you need um, a pole connector. And this was um, like a little long thing like that. It's meant to, and the bay bend is meant to sit on top of it. But when I got it, and there was so much drama about that as well, um, I got one thing one day, another, never mind. And that didn't fit on there. And I kept thinking, do you know what? I'll order the elbow connector and the bay bend and the pole connector and see what happens. Now, if you've got a bay bend, you can also get a bracket that can attach it to the ceiling. But I didn't want to put, to put it to the ceiling, to be honest. I wanted it on the wall. I had a track there before and I'm trying to just do the whole, like, you know when I did the house the first time around? I think I didn't really know. I did it, but it wasn't like perfect the way I wanted it. Like at the moment, you don't even want to know. I'm taking out all the skirting. Um, and there's, does anybody know why on top of a curtain track, sometimes people put a plank of wood? I really want to know why. And that was a killer to take off. I mean, wait, I mean, I'll, when I do a separate video, I'll show you what's happened with that. Anyway, so what I've done, I've got one, two, three brackets on there. Well, actually I'll show you when I put, uh, show, um, show you the video so yeah and I hope if someone reads this this will help them I've seen some videos where sometimes people what they're doing is getting like a, a, a copper piping and they're just bending it to size but I just thought this one looked really pretty so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you now um, uh, the bay window put up ignore the curtains because I'm going to get different curtains and netting if I want to get a netting or boil so let me show you This is called the Kimlos range, and I really like it. It's like a smoked um, antique colour. And so there, I've got a finial there, one bracket there, which ideally I'd like to pull over there, another bracket here, and this is the elbow connector just in the middle there, which attaches those two poles together. Um, yeah, so that. I was so proud of this job. This took me a good while to do. But I did really like the end result. So I really hope 
you enjoyed this video. Do let me know if you have any questions or anything like that that I can help you with. I would love to help you. Lots of love. Bye.